everyone and happy new year i wanted to bring you guys along while i create a 2021 mood board some people call these vision boards or manifesting boards i know that being able to look at something every day really helps hold you accountable and being able to see your goals it's going to remind you of that every day so you can keep working towards that until you complete it hopefully before the end of 2021 so because I'm not a fully functioning adult, my mood board is going to be a little different than other people on YouTube who have the goal of buying a new car or getting engaged. So my goals do seem a little smaller, but they're still big to me and that's all that matters. Also a disclaimer, you can change anything about your life at any time if you want to. You are in charge of your own fate, you're in charge of your own story, and you are the one who is making the decisions that lead to the next decisions. You're building your own life. You don't have to wait until the new year to change who you are. You don't have to wait until the first of the month or a Monday morning. You can do it at any time. And I have faith that we can all make goals and hold ourselves accountable and be able to reach those. My central quote of the year is live for you. As much as I am learning from YouTube and loving doing it, I make the videos for myself. And I'm so grateful to go to college and I want my parents to be proud of me, but I make good grades for myself. And as I've been learning lately, our lives are really too short to just waste our time trying to impress other people. At the end of the day, all you have is yourself and your loved ones, so you have to do what is best for you and the people around you. We all have to focus a lot more on living for ourselves, and we need to love ourselves. I love myself, and that's why I'm making good choices for myself. I want to become the best version of myself, and I want to keep getting better every year. I am not perfect at all. I'm nowhere near it. I have made thousands of mistakes. I have thousands of regrets. But we can't change the past, so you have to start now, and you have to start making yourself better day by day. We need to take every day as a learning experience, an opportunity to grow, and just an opportunity to live for ourselves and make other people happy. So today I'm going to be making two mood boards. One is going to be out of magazine clippings because you never know what you're going to find, so I like the idea of seeing things that inspire me and maybe getting some ideas and making some goals I wouldn't have thought of myself. And I'm also going to be making one on Pinterest so I can search some more specific goals, specific quotes, and be able to easily find the goals I already have set out for myself for 2021. So some of my solid goals for this year are take care of myself, work on my confidence, be unapologetic about the boundaries I set, and spend more time outside. And in my mood boards, you'll be able to see more things that I want and hope to accomplish this year. All right, everybody, let's start on the mood board made out of magazine clippings. As you can see, I have a lovely variation of magazines provided to me by my mother. Thanks, mom. So I'm just tearing out pages that have some graphics, numbers, or words that I really like and want to be a part of my mood board. Once you have all your pages torn out like I do, just take the time to cut out the small pieces that you like the best. As you can see, I'm just cutting out some words, graphics, and pictures of things that I think are pretty, things I align with, and what I want to look at every day of 2021. When I saw this little graphic that said vaccination, I thought it was perfect because I'm so excited to get my COVID vaccine this year and contribute to saving lives and ending this pandemic. Once you get all the pieces cut out, this is where the real fun begins. You can start putting pieces together like a puzzle, seeing what fits, what looks good together, what colors go well together, and you can start officially putting together your mood board. Now that I have everything in place, a pattern that I like, I'm moving it out of the way so I can start gluing it down, making things official. This first picture I'm using I thought was really unique, and since it's the fingers holding onto some strings, I thought it'd be super cool to add some words that I really liked and wanted to live by in 2021 dangling off of the fingers. Some of the words I added were gratitude, be happy, free your creativity, and equal rights for all. Here I'm adding a beautiful landscape picture representing that I want to travel and I want to spend a lot more time outside this year. Here I'm adding a graphic that says Black Voices Matter because we need to bring the Black Lives Matter movement into 2021 with us and carry it with us for the rest of our lives because this is not just a trend when people's lives are on the line. And I'm grateful for the opportunities I had last year and the continued ones I will have in 2021 to listen and learn. Next is a picture of this beautiful plant because I would like to become a plant mother and ever since Christmas, I am one now, I got one for Christmas that I love and I'm super excited to learn, take care of it, and hopefully get more plants in 2021. Here at the bottom, I added a clothing rack because I would love to develop my personal style a little more within 2021. And next, I'm adding this cute little graphic of hands clapping representing racial equality and equity. Here I'm adding a little text bubble that says, what should I read next? Because another goal of mine in 2021 is to read more. This is a quote I really love that I found in a magazine and I'm so glad I found it. It says, it's really important to find a community that will support and encourage you. And if you can't find one, create one. 
Here I'm adding a little graphic that says how to sell stuff online. And I liked this because this year I got into Poshmark and I sold over 100 items. So another goal of mine this year is to sell 100 more. This next little graphic is a family sitting around a table drinking some coffee. And later I'll add another quote atop that says, for me, it's all about the family moments because I value my family always, but especially this past year and this upcoming year. Next, I added a picture of canoeing because again, I want to get outside and that's something I love to do, but don't get to do very often. Next, I added the number 20 because my 20th birthday is coming up and I simply cannot believe that. It's pretty crazy to me. This next quote says, Walking into my dog's happy barks, glossy white painted floors, and art everywhere. It all brings me joy. Because that just sounds like a great life and I am determined to get a puppy St. Bernard this year and name her Trixie. This following piece says, Change the world, which is what I plan to do this year and in the coming years. The next two things I'm putting down say optimism and in pursuit of positivity because I'm all about being optimistic, positive, and making the best of every situation. This says Sunday naps because what a beautiful thing they are and I would love to slow down, live in the present, and really focus on the simple joys in life like a Sunday nap. And lastly, I have a cutout from an article that said women are taking over a predominantly male industry. And here we have my finished mood board. I love it. I'm super excited and it was really fun to make. So I think I had time to explain everything, but in case I didn't, you know, simple stuff like I'd like to get some house plants, I'd like to travel more, focus on things like gratitude, optimism, and creativity. And for three specific things on here, I'm going to leave some links in the description of resources to help learn and petitions to sign regarding Black Lives Matter, female empowerment, and saving the environment. I'm now going to get my laptop so we can get on Pinterest and work on my virtual mood board. And welcome to my Pinterest. Like I said, welcome to my Pinterest. So first I'm just creating the 2021 mood board. Of course, I keep the board secret because I think all of mine are, they're so random and unorganized. What was suggested were pre-made mood boards with a specific vibe or specific color scheme, but that's not what I was going for. So first I started off by just going through my homepage and seeing what I could find. I love that Pinterest becomes catered to you based on things that you like and pin and look at because I can always find stuff that is my style or my vibe and I just always find what I'm looking for. Earlier I mentioned wanting to continue finding my own personal style so I took some of the Pinterest suggestions such as alternative fashion and I looked up other things like thrifted fashion, thrifted clothes, how to style your favorite clothing and I love the inspiration I find and these outfits are just amazing. This year I'll be finishing up my sophomore year at Bradley University, so I needed some Bradley in there for some inspiration to get me through the tough college days. I also looked up some inspiration for college housing, off-campus housing, because this year I've got to find my home for the next year around, so I'm totally hopeful that my friends and I can find an awesome house to live in. A big goal I have for myself this year is to get a fashion internship or find any job that's related to my major. And I would also love to find a mentor in the retail world who can help me with the social side, sewing, and just navigating it as a whole. I would love to become more serious about my art this year as well. I've been saying this for many years now, but it's something I really, really love to do. And even if I'm not the best at it, I hope I can improve. I hope I can take risks. And I just want that to be my thing. I also would like to learn more about digital art. I have had two jobs where I was able to learn about this and have that experience and it was amazing. But this is something where there are so many good resources online and I would just love to learn more about this as an alternative way to create virtually. Along with taking art more seriously, I would love to take my sewing more seriously. And instead of giving up after there's an issue, I would love to be able to learn from my mistakes and turn it into a more positive experience. I also looked up things like 2021 goals, my quote of the year, live for you, and basic things like living intentionally, self-care, daily affirmations, and meditation. Drum roll, please. Here is my Pinterest 2021 mood board. I love it. It was fun to make and I plan to keep adding all throughout 2021. I think Pinterest is such an amazing app and website and I totally recommend that you create a mood board on Pinterest too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make a mood board. The most important thing to remember is don't limit yourself. You can make goals for yourself at any time and you are fully capable of reaching them. I do want to be realistic in my goals. I don't expect a thousand YouTube subscribers by the end of the year, but I want to push myself and I hope for a hundred more. But most importantly, do not limit yourself with your goals. You are capable of accomplishing anything you want to do. I hope this inspires you to create a mood board and I hope all of you have a very happy new year and you complete all your goals this year. I hope that we can all push ourselves and love ourselves and love each other. 
Even if some of your goals might feel scary, anything is possible and you are the author of your life. Thanks so much for watching.